So let's take a look at the SHP 9500s from Philips. You can pick these up for around about $50 and people all over the internet are raving about how good they are. But exactly how good are they? Let's find out. Welcome back to Tech Yes City, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brian coming back to you guys today with a review of the Philips SHP 9500s. Now, this is sort of for me, it's going to be a mixed bag, though ultimately for the money, these are a very good headphones. So, first off, we'll go over the build quality, then we'll talk about the sound quality and also the comfort and all that juicy stuff. So, looking at the SHP 9500s themselves, they're made of plastic and metal, and the design is really good. They're extremely comfortable, they're extremely flexible. And honestly, I wish uh, Philips had have done this design on the Philips X1s, the Fidelios. I found they were just too fatiguing after a long time. However, these on the other hand are extremely comfortable and you will not get any neck fatigue after using them for long hours. So they're very comfortable. Looking at the top of the headphone, you've got here Philips written on here and it's kind of like a hard plastic that they've used. Below that is a head strap there for comfort, which is kind of this cloth material which is touted as being antiperspirant. Though in practice, I find this material made my ears sweat a lot, especially compared to my Fidelio L1s or the previous X1s that I've used in the past. This same material uh, continues down to the ear pads, which are non-removable, which is kind of a bummer, since I would like to honestly take these off once in a while and run them through the washing machine. So it's kind of a bummer, as they do absorb sweat, and it kind of has this, even after using them for about a month now, I've kind of got this little bit of a gross feeling to these ear pads. Though that being said, looking at the side, we've got a really nice design here with a little bit of metal integrated with plastic, and you've got the L written there on one side and the R written there to let you know which is your left and right. Looking below that, you've got a 3.5 millimeter jack, which will allow you to make this headphone with a V-Motor Boom Pro, so you can essentially have one awesome gaming headset. Now looking at the adjustable headphone here, you've got a metal clip in here, which is very solid and it's very nice. Like I like the feedback that you get from this clip and the actual clamping force is actually pretty loose. I'm surprised. I, I would say I have a medium sized head and these clamp on just at the right comfort. They're very comfortable. Lastly about the design, they are an open back headphone, so noise will leak and however the benefit is you will be able to hear everything around you. If you're at home, I consider this a good thing, though if you're out in public, I consider this a bad thing. So that being said, everyone's probably wondering how do these headphones sound, Brian? And I'm going to tell you straight up that they sound very good in all kinds of genre. The, the sub bass is kind of lacking, though that's to be expected on an open back headphone. The bass is at a nice little level. You will get some decent bass out of these headphones and the mids are still there. They're still solid mids. And it's one thing I love about Philips is they always consider the mids. In all the headphones I've tried, the Fidelio ones, the Fidelio X ones, and now the SHP 9500s, they always hit that mark on just giving you nice solid mids. Now, one thing about this is the treble is a little bit up there, though I found it to be quite comfortable still, especially compared to some of the other headphones I've tried in the past. I like where the treble's at as well. I'll try and pull up a frequency response curve for you guys, but you can see, honestly, I had no problems EQing down the treble a little bit and making these a very balanced sound. I know some people have put cloth mods on there and felt mods on there to reduce the treble, but your mileage may vary. I honestly found these headphones really nice out of the box to listen to, EQ'd or non-EQ'd. Though lastly, people are probably wondering, how's the 3D imaging? How do they sound? Are they better than the Fidelio X1s? And the answer to this is quite simply no. I do not consider these an X1 replacement or an X1 contender. I remember having my X1s on and the 3D imaging on that was superb. It was phenomenal. They're in a different class. I still consider the Fidelio X1s and most likely the Fidelio X2s, which I haven't tried yet. I can still consider them on a different level. Though how do they compare to the Fidelio L1s? I would say they're around about the same. They have similar sound stage in my opinion, though these have a little bit more juicier bass and they're a little bit warmer. And honestly, I do like the material inside the Fidelio ones a little bit better than these. They don't tend to sweat as much and they isolate a little bit better, though I don't care about the isolation too much as long as I can hear things outside. 
So all in all, these headphones are quite simply phenomenal for $50. The quality of the sound that you're getting and also the decent 3D imaging for $50 is really superb. Not to mention that they are an extremely comfortable headset. Though I will give them, or I will deduct some points for not having these ear pads being replaceable. At the very least, not even removable. If I have to try and remove them, I will break the headphones. So that is a bummer because I do believe they absorb sweat though they tend to absorb a lot of sweat and they become kind of yucky, even just for me after using them for a month. So again, your mileage may vary though, they are an excellent headphone for $50. And if you want to couple them with say a $30 V-Motor Boom Pro, then you'll have one awesome uh, gaming headset for under a hundred dollars. So that being said guys, I hope you enjoyed this review and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If there's anything else you wish to know about the SHP 9500s, then just log in Drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want and if you like these reviews, then subscribe to my channel, help keep it going. You can also check out some links there and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Bye.